Hey everybody, the Super Vader 400 here, back for another retro review, and this time I'm reviewing the Super for the last season of the Super Friends TV sh TV series before it was canceled by ABC, and that is the the the, the Super Power Team Galactic Guardians, which, like I said, was the last season of the Super Friends, and was the sequel follow up to the last the last season series, which was the Super Friends, Super Power, Super Power, um, Super Legendary Super Powers show. Um, this season, of course, brought back core characters, Superman, Batman, Robin, Wonder Woman, Flash, Hawkman, the Green Lantern, Green Lantern, Aquaman, Aquaman, Samurai, who debuted in Challenge of the Super Friends, and underrated superhero, Firestorm, who debuted in the last season, and Newcomer, who receives, who actually receives the most development in this show, next to Firestorm, and that is Cyborg. Cyborg. Cyborg, who, of course, mo most people know as a member of the Teen Titans, but he debuted as a member of the Justice League, or the Super Friends, as they were called in this cartoon, in this series, and... I just got done finished watching all all eight episodes here on YouTube, and this was one of my all-time favorite shows as a child. I've always wanted to watch it again. I bought the last se series season on DVD, and I'll review it sometime in the future. Um, like I said, I think this show is criminally underrated. It's overshadowed by... It was overshadowed, in my opinion. This season and the last season were overshadowed by Challenge of the Super Friends, which was the most popular incarnation of the Super Friends, because this show, um, this show had a little bit more action, a little bit more action. The character they still didn't have the comic book violence of the comic books, but they had a little bit more um action. Um, characters were allowed to use their powers in a little bit, a little bit, a tad bit more aggressive manner, and this show had more dramatic and even darker storylines, like even. The death of Superman before the death of Superman appeared in this show. Batman's Batman's origin is told for the first time outside of a comic book, outside of a comic book, and Cy and Cyborg. While his origin was changed for this um cartoon, while his origin was changed for this cartoon, it was still kind of graphic for a Saturday morning cartoon that's really meant for kids, which is what most cartoons in the 70s and 80s were meant for, especially in the 70s. Um. I also like this show, and I also like this series, and the last season for its inclusion of one of my all-time favorite DC bad guys. That's Dark Seat, that's Dark Side, and his um assistant Calabac. Decide, Decide was pretty awesome in this cartoon too. He was like Palpatine from um he was like Palpatine from Star Wars and Skeletor from He Man and the Masters of the Universe. Um. Other bad guys appeared in this show, like Lex Luthor, Brainiac, with a new design, and um, Bizarro, Bizarro, and even Joker, with a new identity called the Ace, also appeared um, in this show. Um, most of the most of most of this season takes place, just like the last season, most of it takes place on Earth and inside Dark Side ship inside dark size giant dev star looking ship yeah i like this season it had a heavy um star wars like feel um to it sci-fi star wars feel to it it was just epic sucks it only lasted for just like the last it only lasted for um eight episodes eight episodes i wish it could have continued and um there could have been um there could have been more this this super friends cartoon the last one challenge of the super friends and the very first super friends cartoon are actually my favorites i never saw the 80 the early 80s superman cartoon from 19 super friends cartoon from 1981 and like i said i'm a huge fan i'm a huge fan of the justice league next to teen titans is one of my favorite dc comics and i'm starting to get into green lantern after seeing that ryan reynolds uh movie all right um the super vader 400 out